Hey everyone, this is Jason with FlexiShield back here again with another video for you guys. Uh, this video is actually going to be an in-depth look at the editing version of our RAP software. Um, so you're looking at this pattern and you happen to notice that you want something on this hood to be changed a little bit. Right here, these little outcroppings are actually for the area to wrap around the outside of a body panel and wrap around it. Let's say you want it to be a little bit longer, or you want to change this curve a little bit, or add a curve into somewhere. There's a way to do that in our software. So you have to actually go right up here to this little button right here. When you click that, it'll actually take you to a, another window that'll open up that will allow you to edit. Uh, any one of this pattern at all, and every single model too. Alright, so once it's open, uh, you can see the patterns are exactly the same as you saw them before. And like I said, you can do so many different things. You can add angles into here, like add arcs, uh, you can extend edges, you can just move around pieces yourself, like you can do almost anything here. So the biggest thing uh, that goes with here is every single one of these lines, they're actually made up of points. So if you click this button over here, it shows every single point that's in here. So you use those points to edit anything that you want to. So say for example, you wanted to come over here. And this curve right here, you think that's a little too sharp. So what you can actually do is you can highlight that one right there, and this point right here. Once you have those, anything that any point that falls in between gets highlighted as well. But then if you just click this line, replace with arc, it'll change it right out for an arc for you. That way it takes that really harsh edge that was right there and rounds it out if that's what you guys really want. So some other features you guys have while using the editing software within uh, RAP is the ability to quickly delete and add some of these points. Um, so all, all these points up here, if you just kind of hover over one, and if you double click on one, it'll actually get rid of it completely. And if you hover over the line and you double click again, it'll add another one back. It's some really cool features you have there. So the next thing right here is actually, um, it will add points in between. So you're looking here and you notice that these points are really far apart. You want them more like this. So you can actually do, there we go. Yeah, so all you gotta do is just click that and it will add a point right in the middle. And you can do that as many times as you want. And we'll just keep adding points. If you do it with multiple, what it'll do is it'll add the middle points between every single point that was highlighted on the line. That allows you to have more accurate curves or little small measurements or something like that. So if we highlight like, a, like this entire line and then click that. See how many more points? It basically doubles the amount of points that you have in the middle. That way you can take these little points and you can stretch them, move around if you want to. Or if you don't want to at all, just click this little undo button and it'll take it right back. The next tool within here is actually the delete tool. Works kind of the same as in uh, RAP. Let's say for example, you got this piece right here. You don't want it at all. So you have to do is you can click this button right here, just deletes it right out from you. You want to get it back, press the undo button, and it'll bring it right back for you. And every single one of these panels too can be moved around just like an RAP. All this is is the editing version of it. So if you want to change a little panel, add, a fourth of an inch or anything like that, you can do it right here. So the next feature is something I can foresee a lot of people actually wanting to use, and it's this feature. It's called the expand line. So you're looking at this little lip right here that is used to go over the edge of a panel to wrap around. But say for some reason you want it to be a little bit longer. So what you can actually do is same like before, you can highlight one corner, go over to the other corner over here, and then highlight it. And then once you highlight those two, it'll highlight every single point in the middle. 
Then, what you do is you click the expand line and you can extend it out. So you can extend it out a fourth of an inch, a half an inch, or even a custom out if you really want to. Let's go for a fourth of an inch for this demonstration. So if you click that and then click confirm, you can see that it expanded it out. It added another fourth of an inch onto the edge right here. And not only did it do it for here, it did it for every single point. So this straight line that was there before is still a straight line. You didn't lose that at all. All it did was just extend it out. So another feature within here is it's called shadowing. So you highlight all these points here because these are the ones that you want to move. What you can do is you can right click on here, you can group them together, and then you can go back in here, right click again, click shadow, and then once you finally move them all, use this, move it by a fourth of an inch, it leaves this little line behind, and that's where the original line was. That way you guys can always see in relation where the line originally is on the original pattern and then what you actually edited. So the next and final feature that we have over here is the ruler feature. So if you click on the ruler, it does probably what you think. It will take the exact measurements. So say for example you want to know the distance from this point over here all the way over to this point. You can see the ex exactly how big it is. You can do that anywhere on the panel. Or you want to know how big is this logo. Go from right there to right there and figure out exactly how big it is. So currently that's all the features that we have on here right now, but there's bound to be more to come. Like we're still working on the software at the time of me recording this. We just barely released our trials. That way people can actually get their hands on the software themselves. I'm just making these videos that way. You guys have a better in-depth understanding of how all of our uh, software works. That way you guys can use it to the best of your knowledge. Anyways guys, I'll see you later.